All right, so um, there were a couple of questions and a couple of concerns with yesterday's worksheet, and particularly one of them I thought was just difficult to understand. And honestly, I'm, I wasn't, well, after reading it myself, I wouldn't expect you to get it. All right, so let's take a look at um, question 13 so I can kind of show you. All right, however, if I can teach you question 13, then you have a pretty good understanding of um of what we discussed which is the fundamental counting principle all right so i want everybody to take a look here all right so i misread this uh plan when i first did the problem i i, I thought it was saying that plan a had email local, local and 30 that's what I thought. but that's not what it means all right that's not what it means all right, that means there are how many different types of phones? Two. Two. There are how many different types of features for the phone? Three. I think there are three. Yeah. And how many calling areas are there? Three. And how many talk time? Three. Three. All right, so again, listen, I, I totally understand you missing this. That's why I enjoy going over the problems. All right, now again, I try to tell everybody that, in my opinion, all right, there's very little math here. All right, so you don't have to be good at math to understand this. All right, and actually some people like probability because there's not as much math involved. All right, so let's see if we can understand the questions better. Once I realized that the phone, there were two options for phone, there were three options for features, three options for calling area, and three options for monthly talk time. Everybody with me now? So it says, um, the table shows the features you can choose for a pay-as-you-go phone plan. All right. So how many phone plans have national long distance? All right. What do you think? 18. All right. Now, I'm not sure if that's correct but I think she's correct. Now let's figure out how she got that. All right, you have how many features to select from? No? Oh, four. There are four features, does everybody agree? So here's what I want you to get used to doing. One, two, three, four. You have four possibilities. Come on now, please listen. Because I thought it was just email. Yeah, because that's the plan, not even the phone. Just let me finish up, guys. I, I promise, man. You can correct me after I make my mistake. But don't correct me before I've even made a mistake yet. All right, listen. All right. What I meant by features was that you have four different columns. Oh, okay. You have four different columns that you're looking at. You select one from each column. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Right? So how many phone choices do you have? Two. Two. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm doing A. Now, does this column have anything to do with the long distance? No. So you have how many choices? Three. Three. All right. Now, the calling area is where you want what? The national long distance. And how many of those have national long distance? One. One. Could you choose any of the other ones? No. You have one option there because you want to be able to use the national long distance. Do I agree with that? Yes. And then we're going into the monthly talk. Is there restrictions there? No. So there are what? Three. Three choices. There are three choices with that. Does everybody see that now? And again, personally, I thought that was very confusing. All right, very confusing. All right, so this right here now, fundamental counting principle, just multiplying that together. So there were 18 actual plans, all right? There are 18 different plans that you could choose uh, that
that have national long distance on them. Is everybody feeling better about that now? All right. So now if you understand that, then let's see if we can do a better job with B. It says, how many customized foam plans? So we still have how many different choices we're making. How, how many uh, how many things are we selecting, I should say? Four. Four, right? So again, I like to put down one, two, three, four. Now it says, how many customized foam plans include 100 minutes per month and paging capabilities? So the phones, does that have anything to do with it? So I still have what? Two, two options. Everybody okay with that? Now... I have to be able to do what? Page. Page. Yeah, All right. I have to do paging. So that limits it to two. one, two. Then it says, are there any restrictions to the calling? No. So you have three. So I have three options there. And then I want to be able to talk what? 100 minutes. So I only have what? One. one. So my answer is? Yes, I think I have 12 different options on that, right? That, that's, that's very good. If you kind of understood that or you figured that out, that's really, really good. Now, I honestly think, listen, again, this is part of just understanding numbers that will help you. Not a lot of math involved, all right? Just the process of how to get the total number of possibilities. Everybody okay with that? All right. Now... Um, let's go down to the ERB questions. All right. For the ERB questions, I did um, four, five, and six with my other class. So everybody take a look at what they got for number four. And all you have to do is check that. Is everybody okay with that being 48? I think that was pretty straightforward, right? Now, I thought number five was pretty straightforward, but about half my kids had no clue what was going on there. How many letters are there in the alphabet? 26. How many digits are there? Three. There's 10. There are 10, right? Yeah. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 5, digits. 6, 7, 8, 9. So you have 10 choices. All right? So now your license plate contains three letters followed by three numbers. Everybody happy with that explanation? Oh, I see what it is. So here is what we're doing. 26 possibilities, oh, right? I just did 26 times 10. That's 26 possibilities for the first, 26 for the second, oh, okay. and 26 for the third. And then you have what? 10. 10 numbers to choose from, 10 numbers to choose from, and 10 numbers to choose from. Okay. So what I'd like everybody to do now is... I would like for you to multiply 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10 and tell me what that is. 17,576,000. Yes. The reason why I got it wrong was because I forgot about zero and eight. Exactly. That's the most common mistake. Nine. Most people put nine instead of ten. That's why I try to tell you how many digits as opposed to how many numbers. How many numbers are there? An infinite. But we have 10 digits that make up all of the what? All of the numbers. Everybody good with that? All right. Everybody good with that now? All right. So if you wanted to, you could count the license plates, and it would be 17,576,000 different license plates. All right. Now, someone explain to me why 6 is 1 over 17,576,000. Yeah, there's only one license plate with CPD290. It's one out of that number. I got that just again with the wrong. Right. And, and again, it's wrong. it's totally okay if you miss the denominator. All right. That's why I'm reviewing these. All right. Does anybody else have any questions or concerns here? Yes. That's okay. Good. I want to check all of these if you need to. All right. Number one. All right. It says... Uh, she plays on an intercollegiate soccer team. The team has practice jerseys for the players. The jerseys come in blue, black, or gray, small, medium, or large. Now it says draw a tree diagram. Yeah. So we're going to draw the tree diagram here. All right. So the tree diagram means that you have 
how many different colors? Three different colors. And we're going to call them blue, black, or gray, correct? Yes. So we have uh, one. Wait a minute. I'm just going to do colors because I don't feel like writing them out. Plus, they weren't very good numbers because they're what? B and B. Do I agree with that? Right? So the colors. You have one color, the second color, and the third color. Do I agree with that? And then each one of those could branch off to a what? Small, medium, large. That's exactly what it is. Small, medium, large. Small, medium, large. So that's where we're coming up with what? Nine different possibilities. And again, these are your nine dis different possibilities. But if you wanted to, you would say, Blue, small, blue, medium, blue, large. Black, small, black, medium, black, That's large. large. Gray, small, gray, medium, gray, large. That's the idea. All right. I feel pretty good about that. All right. Is everybody happy? All right. That's not that hard. Now, again, I'm trying to tell some of you, though. I can't help you if you're not willing to say, show me again. I'm not sure. Right? Because I'm trying to tell kids, this is not math. This is just helping you understand numbers better. Everybody with me? All right, it's not difficult. Yes? I just counted them up. One, two, three, oh. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or we could have done this and said there are three here and three here. Three oh. times three, nine. That's how they want you to do it. All right? But the tree diagram is important because that shows you how you got the right answer. All right. Now, I want everybody quickly to go to 11.1. Oh. Everybody go to 11.1, please. All right, very, very easy. Very easy. You did do this last year. All right. <clears throat> We're kind of reviewing the geometry for the next couple of weeks to help you with the ERBs. All right, so I want everybody to stay with me. And then after the ERBs, we're going to really start talking about the algebra. All right. Again, I should say. All right. Now, on here, all right, my recommendation is that you fill in everything on here. All right. Now, I want someone to review with me what does this symbol mean right here? Angle. 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 What do you think? Well, I thought that meant that they were parallel. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, that's that it. symbol. I was looking yes, at that. that symbol means parallel. So now, when you draw it on the graph, here's how you're going to draw it. When somebody says something is parallel, that's the symbol that you make for parallel. Now, the reason why that's important, if the lines are parallel, then we say that certain angles have to be congruent. So look up on the board. Let's review this real quick. All right. Now, angle one and angle three, does you remember what those are called? What type of angles? Close. It does start with a C. Complementary means what? Complementary means two angles that add up to what? 90. Congruent means two angles that are equal. And yes, those two angles are congruent, but they're also called? Corresponding, oh. right? Corresponding angles. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write up here why they're corresponding. And listen to me. These are the parallel lines. Hear me out now. you got to look. Angle 1 is on the left, but it's on top of the transversal. So this is considered left top. This is considered what? Left side and on top. Hey, boys, you got to be listening now. So those are corresponding angles. Angle two and four are corresponding because they're on the what? Right side and on top. Also, six and eight because that's on the bottom right. And five and seven are on the left bottom. So those are called corresponding angles. And if the lines are parallel, what's true about corresponding angles? 
They are all congruent. They're all congruent. All right, everybody with me on this? All right, I know it's a review. We kind of we we definitely did this last year. So one is congruent to three. What is two congruent to? Four. Five is congruent to, Seven. and six is congruent to. Eight. Now, somebody else who's thinking, what is one and six called? What are one and six called? Um, what? Yay, very good. Those are vertical, all right? The ones directly across from each other are called vertical. And vertical angles are also congruent. So one and six are vertical. Two is vertical with what angle? Three is vertical with? Four is vertical? Seven. Now, do you remember what one and two are called? One and two are called adjacent. The ones that, are, that share a ray are called adjacent. Now, what's true about angle one and angle two? They're also called supplementary. Oh, yeah, because you need one to make Because one they one add one. up to what? 180. They add up to 180. So one and two are called supplementary. Two is also supplementary with? Six. Six. Six is supplementary to? Five. Five, five is supplementary to? One. Three is supplement to? Four. Four is supplement to? Eight. Eight. You guys get my point. What was now, complementary means two angles 90. that add up to 90. All right, but we don't really see a 90 degree angle here. All right, so we don't have any complementary. We have supplementary and not complementary. All right, now again, I keep trying to tell you guys, you don't have to be good at math to know this. This is just information. That's all it is. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to try to answer all of the questions here by doing this. Uh, I like to keep my parallel symbol. Angle 5 is 110. So, Miss Danzy, tell me an angle that you know. Angle 6 is 70 degrees. Or right, I'm going to go around the room. Will Genoine, what else, what, what angle do you know if given those two angles? Number two is what? Also seven. Or, no, no, no. It's oh, no. 100. And? And? Look, it's directly across. It's vertical. Oh, sorry. So that's okay. So two and five are vertical angles. Yeah. So those mean that means that two is congruent to five, which means that five is what? Five is one. Or, five I mean, is I'm what? 110. 110 degrees. All right. It's all right. It's all right. We're taking care of it. All right. Six. All right. No, no. Hold up. Ben, give me an angle that you know. One is 70 degrees. All right. Now, I need to know. Jack, tell me what's next. Tell, pick one of those that's uh, missing. Seven is, 110. seven is definitely 110. It corresponds to angle five. That is correct. All right, Carly, what do you know? You got to do three, four, or eight. Um, is? Um, is it seven? Degrees. Oh, look at the oh I was so confused. Um, so it's 110 degrees. 110 degrees. <coughs> Allison. Um, eight, is eight is 70 degrees. And angle three. 70. 70 degrees. All right. Now shrink it down and then just write in the answers for one, two, three, and four. Uh -huh. Angle six was how much? 70. 70 degrees. Angle eight? 70. 70 degrees. Angle two? 110. 110. And angle four? 110. All right. Anybody have any questions with that? All right. So now let's look at the next one. Angle seven 
is 60 degrees. All right, Hunter, what do you know if angle 7 is 60? You're right, it is 60. But I want you to tell me, since you went in that direction, I want you to tell me that those are called alternate exterior angles. All right, they're on the exterior of the parallel and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. All right, those are called alternate exterior angles. All right, Alex, give me a number and tell me what the angle is. Two is going to be how much? How did you get that? Wait a minute, not 200. The angles next to each other always add up to what? No, no, listen to me now. Here's how you figure this out. If you go around a circle, watch, please look up. If you go around a circle, how many degrees in a circle? 360, right? So if you go halfway around the circle, it's going to be how many degrees? 180. So what I'm trying to demonstrate here is this is simply halfway around a circle. So halfway around is what? Yes, that is correct. Angle 2 would be 120 degrees. All right, angle 2 would be 120 degrees. All right, Lander, which one are you doing? Because I'm, I'm not understanding. How, how are you not with me? Shh, no, I'm not asking you. Come on, man, this is what I'm doing, guys. All right, we're working on this problem right here. All right. Hanson, give me a number. Uh, so one is 120. One is definitely 120. Caroline. Caroline? Nope. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Look, look, guys. I, 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 I don't want to babysit, man. I, I don't want to walk around and see what you're doing. I'm, 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 not, I'm not even, I'm, look, right up, look up on the board if you don't know what we're doing. Right, you're, everybody is following me. That's what you're doing. I don't care if you know how to do it all. I don't want you at the end of, I don't want you on the third worksheet. I don't want you on the second worksheet. I want you with me. All right? I don't think you need a calculator here either. Because these are just basic numbers. All right? Tell me, Miles. Uh, five is 120. Perfect. 120 degrees. All right. Catherine. Six is 120. Jack. Three is 60. Three is 60. And the other Jack. Uh, eight is 60. Perfect. And then just go fill it in. So angle four was what? 60 degrees. Angle six. 120 degrees. Angle five. 120 degrees. Angle three. 60. All right, guys. All right, now you just have just different possibilities here. You have different possibilities. All right, I don't think this is that difficult. Uh, number nine. Cole, what are you thinking about X for number nine? Um, X equals 60. If you don't know, now's the time to speak up. X is 60. All right. Emily, what are you thinking about 10? Um, what type of angles are they? Oh, um, like nope. The ones directly across from each other are always what? Congruent. Congruent. <laughs> so X is what? It's, oh, it's 119. Yay, there you go, 119. All right, that's why I want everybody listening. Because even though you think you might 
No, you might be wrong. All right. Mr. Genowine, number 11. Okay. Um, I thought X is 35. How do you know that? Because well, I uh, got 90. How did you know it's 90? Because it's a right angle. Yes, this box in the bottom, if you forgot, that means 90. All right, so those two angles are now considered what type of angles? Complementary, right? And he's absolutely correct. That was 35 degrees. All right, Kate, you're up. 12. You got 140. Easy. I told you guys. Today's easy. 13. Allison, what are we doing? 10 degrees. Very good. All right, Carly, let's hear you. 82 degrees. 82 degrees. Thank you very much. All right, Alex, let's see where we're at on 15. Now, that's a common mistake. It's not 78, but 68. Because here's how I want you to remember. Yeah, 90 minus 22. The common mistake is to say 78. But I always tell my kids to go 90 minus 20 first. And that's what? 70. And then you minus another 2. So 70 minus 2 is your 68. All right? So here we go with 16. Land, are you with me now? Yeah. So where are we at? I mean, what's the answer? You're all right. I'm waiting patiently. Leave me alone. I'm 21. Good job. All right. Seven. Oh, yeah. 17. Hunter, where are we at? Tell me what 17 is. Thank you, buddy. 174. All right. Miles. Yep. 18. Um, 18 was, so it's, um, it's 91. 91. Good. Everybody's practicing your mental math. All right. And finally, number 19. Ben. Uh, Matt. Very good. 46 degrees. And last and least. Who wants to be last and least? Allison, good. Loud enough. Almost loud. I could we didn't hear that on the on the microphone up here. What is it? Oh, we almost got you on video. 75. 75 degrees. Very good. 75. Now listen, I I, I do want to say one thing now. Listen. The problem with me stopping is that, for whatever reason, things and, and people are doing. Finish up. That's number one. Once you finish, then find some other homework you can knock out. All right? We're not talking. We're not socializing. We're working. All right? If you forgot a definition or if you forgot something, look it up. Google it. All of this is basic geometry information that you should know. All right, you are getting ready to take your ERBs, and your ERB scores are going to improve a lot. All right, if you're working for this next eight weeks. All right, so stay with me. All right, get everything done, even the ERB questions. And when you're done, that means find something else quietly to work on. 